Hey church, so good to be with you today. My name's Sarah and I'm the children's pastor at Audacious Church. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to sharing one of my favorite verses with you today uh, and encouraging us all through God's word. So my favorite, uh, one of my favorites is found in Isaiah 40 verse eight. And it says, the grass withers and the flowers fade, but the word of our God stands forever. Now, for 39 chapters up until this point, Isaiah had been warning the people of Israel of forthcoming judgment and the need to repent of their sins and to turn back to God and to listen to his word. But Israel would not listen to the word of, the, to the word of God and um, the prophet Isaiah used withering grasses and flowering um, flowers that fade um, to the field to illustrate the temporary nature of man's life, of our life, uh, in an attempt to encourage Israel to repent of their sins and turn back to God, to start what they were doing and turn back to God. So many things in mind in your life don't last forever. So, you know, sometimes your cup of tea that just tastes so good, you get to the end and you're like, oh, it's gone. Uh, things like that don't last forever. Maybe, you know, you got a favorite pair of jeans that it took you forever to find uh, for the right fit, um, you know, ripped or suddenly don't fit anymore because you've changed body shape. Uh, sunglasses that you just like look the greatest in. Maybe, you know, your kid like mine, sat on them in the car. Uh, TVs don't last forever. Uh, perhaps it's a job, perhaps um, you've been in the position where uh, a friendship doesn't last forever. All these things, um, you know, you could be genuinely gutted about. Uh, but what I love about this verse is that it says, the word of our God stands forever. So while all these other things are temporary, God's promises won't expire. His truth won't change and his love won't end. And Isaiah used the contrast between the withering flowers and the grasses with the stability and strength and permanence of God's word. How incredible is that? I love it. That many things around us may fade and fall, but God's word doesn't, it stands, it remains. And uh, my challenge to myself again and to you today is to think of uh, perhaps one thing in your life uh, that is temporary, but perhaps you're giving it a bit too much attention and replace it with the word of God. What promise are you needing? Am I needing to declare today instead of watching another episode or our favorite soap, uh, what promise do we need to declare today? What truth do we need to replace and stand on instead of maybe mulling over a disappointment that we've had, something that was temporary? Remember, it's simple. God's word stands forever. Uh, everything else may fade and fall, but God's word stands forever. So hold on to God's word, hold on to his truth and declare it this day. Let me pray for your church and then have a great day. Father God, I thank you that your word says that your word stands forever. And I pray that that would be our encouragement this day, that whatever our day looks like, whatever our days have been, God, I pray that you would bring to our mind, bring to our attention, your word of truth uh, to us this day. God, we love you and we pray your blessing upon each and every person this day. Amen. Amen. Have a great day. Love you, church. Bye-bye.